Hello everybody and thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino and in today's episode we shall be looking at something that is not unproblematic at all if you have, you know, even passing knowledge about data protection and the GDPR and things like that. So when you are joining a mobile network in order to have mobile internet, you know, like through a SIM card, a network provided by some telecom provider, then you are getting an internal IP address similar to the way a router at home would provide you with one. You are browsing the net then commonly uh, in a way that your phone is not accessible from the outside world because it is behind NAT. And people generally assume that their phone is not accessible from the outside, right? Well, what I then discover now is that if you are on the same provider, that the internal IPs provided by the same provider apparently do see each other. And you see, I don't think how that this is very much in sync with the consumer's expectation because I believe that the consumer is expecting either his phone to be inaccessible in general or to be accessible in general but to have it accessible within the same provider's network actually for that I see no good explanation and no good justification the best part is that this accessibility can be given in a rather complex ways. For instance, if one provider is sub-renting to another provider its infrastructure, then the users of these legally separate phone provider entities still do see each other. I have been testing this with these two phones which are actually normally, um, you know, under two separate legal entities as contractors. So, from my perspective, it appears not entirely unrisky that they can see each other. And I'm going to show you how. So, first we say, if config A, in order to get our IP address, which happens to be 18320239 okay and now i'm going to set up simply a netcat listener on port 8080 on this phone now turning on the iphone i am going to connect to that ip through netcat you see this is an internal ip as supplied by my provider. And now I am connected and I can type here hello and when I press enter it does appear on that phone. And when I see hi back then it appears over here. Now if you would like to connect devices evidently that is very convenient. However it also means that you're by far not as invisible as you might be imagining when you are surfing the net through your mobile carrier. It means that everybody else who is on that mobile carrier potentially can reach you if you have some unsafe application or some not very thought out ports open. I say pay yourself attention how you deal with that. I am quite curious what explanation the providers are having about that. For I am seeing this not only once and it happens also in roaming. Roaming is particularly interesting because then you can have two disparate providers like you're having provider X and provider Y which in a foreign country are both joining the network Z and suddenly 
their subscribers can see each other, although they wouldn't be able to see each other at home. So how that is justified, I can only guess. <laughs> and I have no idea. <laughs> well, I hope you found today's little demonstration useful and interesting. Where you take it from here, I leave to you. I hope to greet you on my channel as a regular guests. That will be all from me for today. And to you, have a wonderful day and goodbye.